Hi, my name's Paul Shepherd. I used to work as an engineer designing big buildings around the world, especially sports stadiums. But now I'm a researcher at the University of Bath, where my work focuses on answering the question as to what shape buildings should be in order to be strong and really efficient. In order to show you this, I'm just going to demonstrate with my piece of chain here. Now, this is just a normal piece of chain hanging in space. What shape is it forming? Well, it's not an accident. It's actually forming a very particular shape called a catenary. And that catenary has a very specific mathematical equation. It's actually a hyperbolic cosine. Now, you may have heard of a cosine in maths at school. Well, this is a hyperbolic cosine. It's quite similar. Maybe you've seen the cos h button on your calculator. Well, that describes this shape. And what it is, is a shape which falls under gravity. And it's, it's special for engineers because it's got no bending. If it wanted to bend, it could do. But it just relaxes and it finds its pure hanging shape which makes it really efficient when it's taking tension. Now, we take the same shape and we flip it upside down. So we've got the chain again and we just flip it upside down. There we go. Now, we've got a pure compression shape and that's the shape that roofs, especially of stadiums, make. You can see this kind of shape all around us if you see railway bridges or, or, or uh, <coughs> sports stadiums like Wembley, you see this fabulous shape. Well, that's okay for an arch, but the question is, how do we build a surface? We need a roof surface to keep the rain up. So if we take the same principle, and I'll just get my egg to show you. An egg is a shell. It's got a very specific shape, which is really strong under the kind of even load that a chicken puts on it when it sits on it. However, if we put a very localised load on it, it's not so strong. And that's exactly how the baby chicken gets out of the end. So, that egg is a really, really strong shape for the job it has to do. Now, if I break it, pick up the pieces, yeah, there we go, we've got a shell, and you can see how amazingly thin it is. It's really strong, but it doesn't use much material in order to do to resist that strain. That principle is, was used by Hook and Wren hundreds of years ago when they were designing the structure for St. Paul's Cathedral. They used the shell to make the, the roof of the, of the dome. Nowadays, of course, we use computers to do the same thing just shows you how the, the geometry of the roof can really affect its strength and if we can use less material then we can actually uh, be less uh, damaging to the environment, we can save material, we can save cost and lower our carbon footprint.